Hi guys and welcome back to my small channel. So I show you in a former video um, that knife that I really love, which is a kind of mad dog uh, style knife, which I really in A8 steel and I really, really, really like that knife. I mean, it's comfortable. You, you, you don't care to beat the fuck out of that knife and to just go and cut whatever you want, whatever you need. It's strong like a beast. And that's a big beast knife. I mean, I really like it. So I told you in the same video that uh, I purchased a second one, which is a little bit bigger, uh, in A82, which is this one. I was not sure to do a review yet. Um, I didn't test it, but it looks like the same construction and the same style. So let me just show it to you a little bit more today, because um, I will test it later, but probably in a bit. So. You can see the difference of the board, the boss. Um, I think this is the same producer which is doing it because it's exactly the same construction. Um, the only difference is this one. This is more, you know, like 45 degree angle. And this one is a little bit wound, if you look. So you can see the difference in the the blade width, this one is probably smaller than this one, whatever, this one is longer, uh, still great feeling in hand, same handle, the handle is really the same, so A8 steel, good one, the, the, the coating is a little bit different, it's A8, it's not white and the same than here, so name the same police, but we don't really care. Same kind of style, same kind of, of blade, just a little bit longer. So, a good one, good feeling. I'm sure it's performing the same as the other one. It's just a little bit longer. And what is a little bit different, this is the schist. So, the first one, this one, has a laser schist that I really love. I prefer laser schist, of course. And this one is a bit different. This is a Kydex schist, and they have done a copy of the Mad Dog, the even what Mad Dog there which is not very good, they should have avoided that. And you can see this is a single piece of Kydex. You can see that you have the first part here, and then they turn that out. They have a small belt loop here for the legs loop. It's going back until here, and they attach the legs loop. So that construction is okay. You have a nice, very nice belt loop. I mean, that's good quality with a good attached here. Yeah. Uh, nothing to say on the quality. The only thing I have to say, this is if you look at the shears, when you put it in, you don't have really a, a really click. Oh, it's not really easy to take that out. And I feel that that part should have been a little bit more this way. So maybe if I eat it a little bit with a heat gun. I can put it back a little bit that way. So you can see too that it was a little bit damaged here. So since the quality of the of the the the, the shit is not there. Uh, it's handling well the knife. You have no play, no move when it's in. Just to put it here, it's like you have to feel the good position. I mean that it's not like yeah. It's weird. You know it's moving a little bit. When it's in then after it's secured, it's not moving. Even like that, it will not fall, and you can secure it very well. So, at the end, I don't know if I will touch anything because uh, it's doing the job and uh, it's, you know, it's pretty well secured. You have a nice hole here, so if this is wet or whatever, it will take out the water easily. But that stuff is pretty good. Um, they put some rivet here, which means that you cannot unscrew it, which means if you want to put a tech lock or whatever, you need to find the enough space in the middle of the stuff. It's pretty thick at the end, but whatever, it's doing the, 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 the work. So, whatever, I will not spend a lot of time on that knife. Uh, it's a cool one too. I mean, for me, it's really like, I prefer that one in terms of size and, and everyday carry. I think this one is a good option. Um, it costs a little bit more. This one I paid at 92 euro and this one 98 euro. So you don't have a big difference. So it's up to you. This one is a little bit slimmer in terms of plate, if you look at both side by side. So, you can see the difference here. But whatever. Comfortable in hand, looks like a great, uh, 
great knife. So I think for the price, it's still a very good one. Let's look at the spec. We have 17, 16.5 for the cutting part of the blade, 19 almost to the handle. So you have a big place here. And you have 31 or 31.5 centimeters long. And thickness should be the same as the, the one, which is 0 0.6. So six millimeter thickness. I mean, this one, so you cannot see very well, but six millimeter thickness. And here, you have that part is yeah 3.5 or more than 3.5 and the world up four four centimeters so cool one um let's look at the weight if i can turn that on yeah 362 grams and with the sheets we are at 512 so 363 when this one was, yeah, 314. So yeah, bigger, whatever. So yeah, that, that's good one, good option. Still a clone, but I mean that pretty well done, pretty well made. I like personally that kind of knife because this is a kind of knife that you don't really care to, to go on the field and to use and to destroy. At the end, you pay that one of the euro and uh, it's not that you have a real mad dog that you'll pay $2,000 and so whatever, it's doing the job. That's all for today, guys. Thanks for looking. Bye-bye.